Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe, and let's get started, shall we? Welcome again to the uh, coffee mug tutorials. Today, what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to post landed cost uh, using something called item charges in NAV. Uh, what we really want to do is uh, take cost from freight, a uh, purchase invoice, and apply that to the receipt of an item so that we can increase the cost of the item in our inventory. Uh, and so the cost of goods sold when we sell it is reflected accurately. So let me go ahead and just take a look at item charges. Now in the system we have defined in our demo system that ships with NAV um, these item charges. What item charges are, it's, a it's an instrument I can put on a purchase invoice and apply it, like I said before, onto the receipt. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute. And we have purchase uh, allowance in there, freight charts, etc. So probably the most appropriate one is to use the freight one. I go ahead here, go into the purchase order, and I have a bill now from uh, a shipping company called the London Postmaster. So I'm going to look that one up, enter it in, and then I go ahead and type instead of picking a GL account or something like that, which normally uh, freight would be posted to. I'm going to pick an item charge. And then I go ahead and select the item charge from the list I saw before. And that's going to be miscellaneous freight. I can just put here in um, freight from London. Yeah, we got some mugs from London. Uh, I don't have to put in the location, I just put in one. Uh, piece, just one signifying that I'm going to put the total amount in the direct unit cost. So we did pay $120.55 for this. And then that's it. Now what I want to do is go into line item charge assignment. And I want to assign this to a certain receipt of a coffee mug. So I say get receipt lines, go into the last receipt here, and this was for the thousand ones that we got, the big one. And it brings it in here, and now I suggest item charts assignment. That basically means I'm going to spread the freight over the items on the receipt. There's only one item on the receipt, so if I just do it equally here, it'll put the entire freight onto that item. And I just hit OK. Uh, now I put in the invoice number from the vendor, which was ABC3456. Uh, and now I'm ready to post. So just uh, keep in mind that it was for those thousand uh, that we got. Now I hit post, receive an invoice. And now it posts everything. Now when I want to go into the item, I want to take a look at my coffee cup, coffee mug, sorry, go into the entries, and now I can see if I take a look at the one for a thousand, the purchase receipt here, the cost amount is 5,120.55. If I drill into that, I can see that the freight has been applied. So I paid 5,000 to the vendor, but I paid 
to the freight company, so my total cost is 5120 What you can also see is that all of the transactions, the sales, have increased. The cost has increased now. So even though the sale happened after I applied the item charge, it has updated the cost of goods sold everywhere where we sold out of this receipt. And that basically describes the way item charges work, or landed cost, uh, it's more used in the industry, uh, in an AV.